Asus DUF Gaming F15 with NVIDIA GTX 650 for 649 bucks. This is one of the best selling budget laptops on Amazon at the moment and if this machine is the one you're looking to buy, hold your horses and watch this video till the end. Of course, I can see why people choose to buy this laptop. A pretty powerful processor, high refresh rate screen, half a terabyte of storage right out of the box, fancy RGB keyboard backlighting, a very sweet price tag. But what if I tell you that there is a much better option available for the money? I'm talking about the latest generation of Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3 and although I love Asus laptops with all my heart, this Lenovo laptop absolutely destroys this outdated Asus TUF Gaming F15. 16.4% more powerful GPU meaning higher FPS in games and faster processing of 3D, 119% more powerful processor and there is no need to worry that it's an AMD CPU, my own gaming laptop's rocking an AMD chip and I am more than happy with it. The latest generation random access memory and storage meaning your laptop will fly through every task and the overall experience of using the device will be smooth and flawless. The temperatures and their loads are totally acceptable, it doesn't overheat or throttle and its build quality is as good as the Asus laptop has. But I know that for a lot of you guys, just like for me, not a good enough screen might be a deal breaker. I like to enjoy true to life colors and high brightness level added in my videos, crisp details in movies and fast response time in games. Unfortunately, both laptops have pretty bad screens. If you're too concerned about it, the best way to resolve the issue would be getting a nice external monitor for your setup. Nowadays, even cheaper models are really good and they enable a more pleasant experience in games or watching movies. But what's even more important, you get the ability to work on professional projects requiring accurate color production. The built-in panels are good enough for casual gaming, studying and other personal things. Now, I know that you're mostly interested in these laptops gaming capabilities, so let's take a deeper look. Both of them are clearly entry-level gaming laptops, but that 16% difference in GPU performance I've told you about before lets you play at higher gaming settings in all games. The novel idea Pet Gaming 3 actually runs Cyberpunk and Red Dead Redemption 2 at medium to high settings at a decent frame rate and considering its price tag, it is very impressive. Plus, you can live stream a lot of AAA titles too. Before we proceed, I just want to let you know that the links to the best Amazon offers on these two laptops are pinned in the description box down below. Make sure to check them out. I guarantee these are the lowest prices you can find. Keyboard wise, I honestly prefer Asus. It just feels better, plus, it is RGB when Lenovo can only offer white backlighting. Both laptops have pretty weak battery life, up to 4.5 hours in the mixed usage and up to about 6 hours watching Netflix at medium brightness. I feel like Wi-Fi was more stable on the Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3 and after waking the laptop up, I could start browsing web like 7 seconds earlier than on the Asus. It just connects to Wi-Fi a bit faster. Although Asus DUF Gaming F15 packs twice as much storage right out of the box and its backlit keyboard feels just a little better, I'd still prefer the novel idea of Gaming 3 because of the modern hardware, more responsive user experience and of course higher FPS in games. Thank you guys for watching this video, I truly hope it was helpful, make sure to check out links to the best Amazon offers on these two laptops in the description box down below and see you in the next one.